Hey everyone, it is that time. It's February and it's time for the next monthly creative collab. And this is part of the Makers Creative Collab. This month, the theme was Accordion to Me. So kind of self-explanatory there in the title. Um, so before I get into it, just please make sure uh, we have a lot of YouTubers that are participating in this collab, and we have some other non-YouTubers non that are participating as well, so hopefully they'll share some pictures on Instagram for you to see as well. So, I have never, ever made an accordion journal, um, and there were a lot of different ways to do it. There's I really wanted to do a meandering one, but um, I thought I'd just stick with simple this time. So what I chose to do, and hopefully you remember from one of my previous videos that I did recently, um, I showed a technique using double stencils and some mediums. So I had all of these, in essence, texture plates, and I thought, you know, if I cut those down to size, and maybe add some more color to some of them and then bind them in a really pretty way, I could make it into my accordion collab for this month. So that's what I did. Um, I did have to do a little bit of finessing. And one thing that I did, I had some sari silk. Now this sari silk that I had was nowhere near this color. In fact, um, it was all a lot of pastels. So all I did was I, I have what I call my little ribbon spraying lid, which is literally a lid from a plastic container. And I lay my ribbons in there and use alcohol inks to get more or less the colors that I would like. So I did that and I love the way the colors turned out. So that's what I used to bind them. So the plates themselves, what I'm calling the plates, um, like I said, you, hopefully you remember these. I kind of kept in the same color family, not varying too much, but I did add a little bit of beadwork trim along the front cover. And I just thought it, it set everything off so pretty and a little bit of um, difference in shades and colors and a little bit of wire wrapping in there and just a fun way to add some prettiness to something that's more modern feeling. So this is my accordion. Um, and I'm going to open it all the way up and then close it all the way back so that you can see it's pretty big. So let's Let's uh, open her up and there you go. So if you remember from my, um, like I said, I keep talking about the other video. Well, now my printer's gonna start. It's usually my dog. Huh, that's funny. Um, anyway, I really, really wanted to, um, use these plates up in a creative way and I did a technique again referring to that video where I used my gel plate for the base color onto some black mixed media paper then I used some impasto through a stencil let that dry layered another stencil over top more impasto let that dry so you got a real variance in textures in there um, and I just, I love the way that turned out. Once I did that, then I went ahead and put a thin stencil on top of my gel plate, added some colors so that I could get this gorgeous background texture. And I did that with each of these. Um, one thing of note, and again, I did say this, but I'm going to reiterate it for those that might just be following this particular series is for mixed media. And when I talk about mixed media and stencils, I'm talking about using a stencil with paste over it and then 
you keep adding different elements to it. My stencil brand of choice, I said, and I continue to say so, just so you know, is PM Artist Studio, who are also the ones that are sponsoring this collab. Sponsoring the collab. Again, they should get paid for that, right? Um, they're the ones that have come up with this idea of the collab. So there's our thicker. Um, they lend themselves very well to taking the, the more abuse of using a paste through it versus a thinner stencil that, you know, you would just use for effect with paint. So hopefully that's cleared up. So I'm not going to tell you the names of every single stencil that I used. If I can remember, I will, but they have so many and their names are very creative and unique. And I will put their link below in the description box, um, as well as a link to the other channels uh, that are participating in this. So you can do, you can watch one and show everybody some love. So this one I chose to use on the cover because it features their new stencil, the Asemic Writing. And I, I just, I can't say enough how much I love that stencil. It's probably, right now, it's like one of my very favorites. It's in the top five, the top five. And I, <laughs> I don't know how many stencils I have. I probably have, I probably have close to a hundred stencils. So that should tell you something. And I'm sure I've got more than that. In fact, I know I do. But anyway, so it opens up. So we've got just more texture. We've got the wavy windows. Um, and again, I'm not going to try to remember the names. I've kind of kept everything in the same color family. Loved this one. This one I actually used four different smaller ATC stencils with the impasto paste that are from uh, PM Artist Studio. Um, the fingerprint one, I love the way that come out. That just is so cool. So you know, I fit them in each of the corners and just keep going. <laughs> and there we have, a th um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to remember the names. I don't remember the names. I am horrible with names. I remember faces. I don't remember names very well. Love that one too. Some of them I didn't blend so much on the jelly plate because I liked the concentrations of colors and you'll see that on some of them but you can oh, that one I love I love with that blue in there that just made everything pop on it and then we have this one I want to I'm not gonna say that's a swirly swirls but it might be it's really pretty really really pretty and there we've got like the hits of turquoise. And then here's the back. I love that stencil too. That's another one of my favorites to use with a paste. So all of the stencils, all of the stencils that I used the impasto through to get the texture are all PM stencils. And I'd, I'll, I'll admit it, I am going to tell you that I am pretty close to having all of their stencils and I didn't even touch a lot of the stencils of theirs in this one, but I used quite a few. And I just, the combination of those stencils with the impasto and then the little bit of the iridescence from the color shift paints and the hits of copper, it just came out into something so unique and to bind it again, let me show you on this page because it's the very last one. All I did once I cut it down to size, so I had to make sure all of my panels that I used with the black mixed media paper that, and it's it's quite thick paper too. It's pretty heavy duty cardstock. Um, as I punched holes in it using my um, crack crocodile. My big bite crocodile, that's what it is, and then set the eyelets in it. And I I kind of uh, played around with colors. So like the up or the bottom and the top, I used black eyelets. In the middle, I used the copper just because I thought it, you know, played into the copper. And I, 
edged everything. But I, this is something I would have never tried on my own. I, and trust me, I would have, I would have never tried this on my own because it was intimidating. I've seen people do accordion journals and I thought, yeah, that's really cool. I will never try that. Well, there you go. p and uh, once again, took me outside of my comfort zone and made me try something that I thought I would never try. And I can tell you this is going to be popped into the mail and sent to somebody who from time to time sends me some really great happy mail and cards and messages and she she's she's so kind um it, but it keeps me going keeps me uh trying new things because she said that I actually inspire her and she is a very dear friend so this is going into the mail for her and hopefully she will like it and yes I will sign it because I know you like that so I will sign it so this is my submission for the creative collab um again please make sure that you you know keep watching i think there's going to be end cards in all of the videos so look for that towards the end of this video that if you click on that that will take you to the next one and it'll be set up that way um we have we have a tech expert in our group and that is mariah from pm so i love that they're like so, they're the complete package together, you guys. Um, art and smart. <laughs> and art and art and art. So, anyway, thank you so much for um, joining me for this. I really hope that you liked watching this. And maybe some of you were wondering what I was going to do with all of those um, plates that I had stenciled on in, in one of my videos recently. Well, this is what I did. So I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.